We can also do this. Oh, do we have the audio killed too? Where's the audio? Oh, it's right there. There we go. Hang on for a second. Brand new Mikey Wave, brand new uh, little uh, oven. That's a griddle. That that um, um, that's the uh, UV light cleaner for all the phones and headphones and everything. And then a little coffee pot. Your sink, faucet. Of course, it's not being. It's not finished yet. It just got cut in. Along with the little hand pump here. I have the drain. Everything I got to cut in. Refrigerator is gonna. Oh, hang on. Doink. There we go. Refrigerator is gonna show up here real soon. That's the three-way power refrigerator, AC, DC, and propane. These are up. Yeah. Remote control switches. That way you can control and turn stuff off by the remote control, wherever that's going to be. There's a HEPA filter right there. This is a brand-new AC, DC TV that just got delivered yesterday. Um, the over-the-air antenna is sitting um, in the bench. Of course, everything's all completely done well not completely done i haven't finished the floor and i haven't done below here but everything behind here it's all been insulated big time big time get the curtain rod in the curtains are going to go in i've had it before and i have all the see there there they are right there and then that covers that so you can go in complete blackout mode into this thing and not uh, not know anything right that's where the uh, kitten hangs, is underneath there. All this half over is the kitten's area. That's his food, his litter box, and his bed down there. He can go back there and hide. And nobody can mess with him. The other side is just full of supplies. Along with underneath the bed. Of course, nothing's finished yet. But, hey, man, it's close enough. Plus, they got these LED lights all the way around. The napkins are around them to diffuse the light because it's really intense. See how bright it is? So those diffuse it, it doesn't make it as, as intense. So it's actually pretty nice. Propane, solar panels, and batteries. The inverter's already been bought, and controller is uh, uh, already here. So, um, oh no, on the way. Inverter's already here. There we go, boys and girls. This is uh, going to be pretty killer when it's done. I might round this edge off here. I don't know. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Who cruise? There's a Curtis Maximus. Hi, bestest buddy. Hi, bestest buddy. He's so sweet. I love my bestest buddy. Man, he loved hanging out right there. Uh, brand new uh, heater right there. It works great. Right along here, just to continue, this is going to be the closet right there where that is. It's going to be a little tiny seat right there. Not much. And then the closet will start. And then there's a bunch of shelves so you can sit there in bed and blah, blah. And then right here, at the wheel well, there's going to be an infrared fireplace right here, along with the rest of the drawers and whatever, blah, 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 so you can stock stuff like food and whatever. So we're just going to sit here and watch the game and uh, enjoy ourselves here tonight. Let's see where we are. Jump. Let's see what we're watching the news or something. Yep, news. <laughs> no, the coronavirus update. So you got the laptop right here. PlayStation? Uh, Blu -ray oh, Blu-ray, right yeah. And then um, the PS3. Right. He's going to go right here. The yep. Slim PS3. Oh, there's Bandit. There's the Bandito. Hey, there's a rare view. There's a rare view. The Slim PS3. Oh, there's a rare view. There's the Bandito. Yes. Wow. There's a rare view. Boy, I didn't realize that we were going to see him on this video. That That's a trip. He's going to go right here. The Slim PS3. Oh, there's Bandit. Son of a, look at that. You guys want to see where Bandit is today? Here's Bandit right here in care of uh, uh, the two-time convicted felon that's in the uh, uh, Men's Central Jail downtown Los Angeles. He came here on February 12th, Sunday night, and was on Shelter Island where this van was parked and was ringing the friendship bell at the end of the island, mocking me of the 400,000 people who've died of the coronavirus. Look where that scumbag piece of shit is now, and look where we are. Rest in peace, little kitten.
Yeah, motherfucker. You you dox you you dox uh, uh Easter's uh, uh little girl. You think you're gonna you kill my cat? So anyway, uh, yeah, the PS3 is gonna sit right here. You make fun of Muslims? There we go. All right, boys and girls, and of course this is going to get on a uh, articulating arm, so you can swing it back and forth. Either I hear you, buddy. At the TV or Which I did. Most of this is done now. Watch it outside, even. So. I think we can keep on. So watch this. Every day for he had this in his boat. He said. <laughs> so I've moved this antenna right now. The Sirius uh, XM antenna sits sits over here now. This is on a tilting thing. That one back there is gone. But you can see I've had the whole thing disc down. Started sanding it. And you can see that the view outside the sliding door out there. So it was, you know, there's no reason. There's the bins. Okay. Oh, there's the PS3 right there. Okay. Right? Mr. Vice President, you saw that, right? <laughs> yeah, not anymore. Poor little guy. Anyway. Yeah. Looks like she's working. Oh, yeah. Hang on here. So we're going to have to change all the settings here. That's all right. And yeah, he's going to identify on who, how many of them are, are so up inside of him at once. That's how he's going to identify. I just happened to I just happened to see this content when I threw it up there. The oh, blue! Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> hey, man, we all saw what I did this weekend. Can we stop all this? Let's see if we can. Oh, well, yeah, it's showing more pictures of. Is more of it was painted as it got done. Are you jumping? So, um, yeah, as you all can see that. Come on, man. There's the bins. The boat was parked right, right around the corner here. <laughs> yes, listen, I am not denying. I've said this many a times. I came over here and spent the weekend, stopped working on Friday, and stayed here the whole weekend. I've never denied that. When you see how be people come from all... That's exactly what I built the thing for. Never denied that. Well, minus the roof, and of course the interior of the roof. And I ain't seen these videos since forever. Uh, rhino line or something of that sort. Oh yeah, that's right. I did end up painting the roof. Oh this. Oh wow, look at this. So my God. During the football game. Hey, little buddy. And you guys, did you guys wonder why my vengeance is so strong? He came here. There, there's, there's tons of screenshots during their live feeds making comments of kidnapping Bandit and Groot. Hundreds of them, ladies and gentlemen. He came here on February 12th. He disappeared on February 13th, Monday at 6 p.m. I got a phone call from a veterinarian um, office right there at Hillcrest. Said the story many a time. God, look at this little guy. So, dude, him and, him and Groot hung around the shop all the time. The owner of the shop, he loved Ben because all the, the mice and everything were away. Watching the football game. Got PS3. I'm gonna swap with the Blu-ray. There's the laptop, which is gonna go over here at the desk area. So, so you guys keep asking over and over about the. Oh yeah, see, I finally did paint the uh, the Rhino liner on top of the roof. I haven't finished the corners though, obviously. 
So that's the big 10 meter antenna right there with the thousand watt uh, amplifier where I can talk anywhere in the world. Uh, that right there talks to boats. Um, that is, I believe, the scanner antenna is what that is. There's the TV. Both of these are the two TV antennas at the time. Dude, I just happened to load this shit up. And here it was. Oh, yeah, see, there you go. There's a whole different picture of the of the antennas. Now there's a radar antenna up here. This is all full full with uh, solar panels now. And you can't even see this. It's just all full of solar, solar panels now. Of course, if it's going to... Okay. This is not 54 This is not $60 worth of live TV. No, shut so up. As soon as I recorded, oh, it was sitting there buffering for at least a minute. Oh, see, shut up, shut again. up. I'm bitching this about something. Bullshit. Come on. This is Come not on. watching live TV, Hulu. All right. Oh, yeah. I was trying to get Hulu hooked up. I went book shopping today. Hey, right on. So, um, it's funny what Clowny Boy ended up doing this weekend. Can you imagine the crap that he was doing inside the um, uh, the men's central jail? Whether or not he's in segregate, uh, still the freakiness, the debauchery, the the oh, still. But karma's gotten him. And what else is... Uh... Did you make it soundproof? <laughs> Did you pick it up the tigers? <laughs> uh, no, it's not soundproof at all, as a matter of fact. Uh, it's just very well insulated. I got to finish the floor. Um, um, I literally have to pull the entire thing apart. and um... But see, I'm going to sell it. It's not big enough. I can't stand up. So I'm going to go buy a um, some type of a 4x4 four four shuttle bus. A 450 chassis. Probably for sure a 450 chassis. Might even be a 550 chassis. It's got the little handicap uh, section. I say handicap. Disabled lift at the very, very back. That way I can uh, tow the, the horse trailer fairly well. So... Oh, oh, now I see what you said. Oh, yeah, yeah, huh? What well, now makes you realize all the crap that I've had to go read all these years over and over again and get into and uh, to be able to operate all this, you know, to be able to know what every single one of these buttons do and, and how it operates per frequency, per where you're at and, and how it all works. So, and then integrate it all. And then, and then Ace, voice of the audio, he was talking about something. He goes, hey, man, let me show you something. I can make, I can show you something, make all this stuff work just off one of your computers. And I'm like, well, let me get that then. Because, dude, I still got this, uh, another radio, and another 2 meter 440 handheld that usually hangs around here. Um, that's the, um, 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 that's the boat radio. And I've got a handheld uh, to talk to aircraft. Uh oh, oh, hang on. What, what? Oh, thank you for taking care of that. You took, yeah, uh huh. I just went to view it. Yeah, anybody, anybody that was part of the uh, kitten killing crew, you've got what you've got coming for you. So, yeah, something's going on up here uh, over Northern Division. That's what she ultimately looked like. That's not bad, huh? No, uh -oh. we got a kidnapping going on. Oh, oh no! And I don't think I've got any new batteries in here. Oh well. They just went under, they were just, just about to go to tone, too. Let me see if I can pull a rabbit out of my hat here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see if I can pull a rabbit out of my hat. No. Yeah, I want to select it to USB mode. So,
Oh, I don't think it did. Gosh darn it. Oh well. Sucks to be me. Let's see if I can make it turn back on. Because they were going under tone showing that it was a um, apparent, apparent kidnapping about to happen. Crazy bastards, I'll tell you what. The shootings and crap, what happened uh, this weekend, uh, not only with uh, Israel and Iran, it's it's ironic that Iran said, hey, man, this is all we're doing. We don't want to do no more. We don't want no problems. But you know Israel. Dude, Israel's going to fuck them up. This is, it would be nice if Netanyahu would just let uh, um, Iran let it happen. But until Hamas releases the rest of the hostages, unraped, untortured, unmentally whatever, unless they came out in perfect shining condition, which is not going to happen. So level Ga Gaza and, and Rafa to ashes. Bury him down. Hey, Tony's Talk Showcase. Whether did I not say anything about you when I first came online? If I did, that was a serious mistake. And I probably did not. Because I was, I was just ran into the videos about my stupid van here. People have been, hey, man, show us pictures of your van. So, um, hey, brother, it's a privilege to have you on here. Everybody, you all should go check this guy out, man. Tony's Talk show, Showcase. Guys, don't spin in some serious beats. Guys, throwing it down, man. Now, listen, I like it. I like it a lot, brother. 42.0. No worries, brother. Yeah, your stuff is good to listen to. Now it comes on. I've got it set default. So as soon as I get my uh, as soon as I get my whip, it just automatically kicks in with Bluetooth and goes straight to you now. So just like that, it was listening to them chicks, the yeah, the Costellos. But once um, um, once YouTube decided to go sideways on me for just trying to help these girls out, I was listening to them pretty much regular, but. Now I've got you set that, like I said, man, as soon as I get in the whip, it just defaults to you, brother. So that's how that happens, ladies and gentlemen. And, of course, do not forget, um, Devadio, voice 760, radio 760, Acer himself. Go check that out as well. You know how big Iran around. So, yeah, but here's the thing, dude is the rest of the Islamic communities around there. And this is this is the truth. Um, they don't like Iran. Just like they don't like the Palestinians. They, they don't like them. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's Northern Division. So, yeah, they're... Hey man, so there's the there's the uh, refrigerator that showed up. Like I said, man, this thing, this van is tight. I disassembled the whole cabinet to customize, put this thing in, and this thing will work off AC, DC, and propane, so it'll never run out of fuel. Yeah, something's going on over in Delmar Heights, Northern Division. Yeah, they can't be they can't be messing messing with Israel like that. Um, thank God our shit worked all the way from space to a hundred to two hundred feet down. The low flying shit, the drones and all that crap. Can you believe that they sent like eight hundred, in in like what, ten twenty of them or something only got through. That's incredible, absolutely incredible. So, holy guacamole. Oh, that, that listen, brother. That's that's a whole other subject that we could get going on here, and and same with the politics about the border right now with Biden, with all the terrorists that have let that he's let in, um, in the fentanyl crisis. You know, Lord know, Lord knows that 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 coach has been talking about the fentanyl. He's been he's been beating that drum probably as long as I've been beating the 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 jab thing and all that. Um, he's probably been talking about that the same. Um, previous year talking about the fentanyl issue and now in the last year or two 
they've busted four, they, they've seized four times the amount of fentanyl coming across the, just the California and Arizona border. Enough fentanyl, I think, to kill every American six or seven times, something, something like that. Something ridiculous like that. I mean, it's just, it's just insane. Just insane. Way to, way to go, Brandon. And of course, the terrorists that they've led across the border. And, and the, the one guy that they were talking about that was part of Hamas. And he went, I believe, assaulted a, a, a cop or something like that. And they just let him go again. They're like, yeah, all right, man, we got to the. I thought when you were here waiting for any type of, of ice clearance, that if you got in trouble with law enforcement, your ass was out the door. Boom. If you had any contact with, right? Isn't that true? What's up, coach? What's up, brother? Right? So if you're here waiting to get waiting to get approved on any type of visa or any type of immigration status, and you get in trouble with the law, aren't you immediately booted out of the country? So, yeah, on the I-5 corridor. Yes, yeah, I do too, brother. So I'm right here at the 5 and the 52 right here in La Jolla. Yeah, somebody, somebody's on their handheld and they can't talk to him. So he just took everything off after it was all on. And that's all the uh, weatherproof shit that I did on the uh, rack right there. Yeah, one of these days I'll go up and get... Um, oh, wow, that's a nice looking picture of this thing. Especially at night. Look at that. It's a nice looking ride. Who knows, man? I ain't got no answers. I ain't got no answers at all. Oh, here's a good deal. This is sitting at OB. Other than... Um, I'm getting a lot of emails from people. <laughs> See, I don't know. I, I, got, I don't want to say this and not say it right, but man, must be pissing <laughs> his potato off. Something terrible. <laughs> you crazy. Listen, bitch, you all keep up your stupid shit. No matter what, do understand this. No matter what, she is going to get an ROV. On the day of her sentencing, there are going to be other people in there that, like you have no, listen, the tater tots are not going to save her. She's going to spend many years in the California incarceration, in the penile system <laughs> of the California system, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this, yeah, this Echo No Line, it's a 250, brother. She's a gas hog. But, man, is she a nice ride. So, yeah, Mr. Uh, Mr. Perez, who is, um, who is um, currently incarcerated at the Men's Central Jail in downtown Los Angeles, uh, has been classified as a man. He has testicles and a penis. Uh, he has uh, uh, had injection of silicone into his breast to make him look like that he's been enhanced as a woman. Uh, he likes to refer to himself as a woman, but he can do all the mentalness that he wants to. That is a man. He's got chromosomes. Um, now we've got people on the inside over here verifying whether or not this is possible stolen valor because they can't find his name anywhere in any of the records down there in Georgia for the um, um, for the ranger training. How he's kept on saying that he was a, a, a ranger. So now we've got people looking into that claim. So now not only not only is he a chomo where he docks his kids on the internet. Um, not only does he disrespect the Muslim faith and religion by being a male, dressing up in a burqa, and then antagonizing other religious uh, folks 
and trying to say Allah Akbar and use other Islamic, I'm not going to say this, but made up Islamic words in order to provoke people to catch a case. Civilians who don't know no better. Oh, now they're a sig alert. So something's going on. Something's going on at Del Mar. Something just happened on the freeway or something. So let's get let's make sure we get our facts right together here. So um e beggar, e scammer, grifter. Um we all know that he started multiple websites. Uh, I'm not sure how many people paid into it, but heard many, many times over that they got nothing out of the websites and they were continuing to have their credit cards dinged over and over and over again. So um, convicted e-scammer, grifter, e-beggar, um, chomo for, for doxing children on social media and his followers who we have... Uh, video documentation through screenshots during my live streams here admitting that they doxed the big dog's daughter here, the princess. <laughs> That's just, dude, how stupid can you be? I mean, there's fucking, there's dumb, there's Forrest Gump dumb, and dude, there's just fucking yokel fucking inbred Stupid, backwoods, ignorant, dumb. I, seriously, I don't know. You can go with this or you can go. I'm not sure which is dumber. Being a six foot two transgender male dressing up in a burqa with wires going into a backpack, going to Jewish religious facilities, talking Islamic gibberish of made up words and then shouting Allah Akbar and provoking innocent civilians into thinking that you're a possible terrorist or that's, that's down there Moreno or Doxing children on social media and thinking that that's acceptable and, and thinking that none of this stuff is eventually going to catch up to you. Yeah, Shahala Mahala did sound stupid. Yes, it did, but it was enough. It was enough that it that these freaking clowns ran with it at the time. And now look at all these people. They're all being incarcerated on RICO charges and whatever shit that they can do. And and speaking of Shahala Mahala with that sealed that sealed case, we can't find out how he it's sealed. We can't find out how how the sheriff's department opened the door for Mister Jose Armando Gonzalez. It's sealed, ladies and gentlemen. Do you understand what that means? He talked. Jose Gonzalez talked. There's no, there's no way around that now. He walked out of the door because he talked. We can't find out because it's sealed. So now we all know the entire crew, all this shit, all this crap that they've done now is just turned out to be nothing but Antifa anti-American domestic terrorism hiding behind the First Amendment, ladies and gentlemen. These beta individuals, both transgender and straight-up males, would hide behind their cameras in the First Amendment to bait civilians. Again, and we've all, we've all witnessed this time and time again. If, if There's not one thing that we've proven time and time again by all the people going in the post offices that Americans are stupider and dumber than a fucking box of rocks. They don't know you have zero expectation of privacy once you leave the fucking front door of your home. 
we've proven this time and time. Hell, the cops are so goddamn dumb. They don't even know the law. Long Island audit, good guy activism, is continually banging away on the East Coast now. He's moved out of the New York area. I think he's moved his way up into Connecticut. And they're just going fucking stupid. The cops up there are just fucking going berserk over him. He talks... He, very open, very calmly. He tries to communicate with people. He says, well, hey, man, listen, that, that policy that you got hanging up on the wall, that doesn't trump the Constitution. Don't you understand how it works? Law, policy, policy's b bullshit, and law. And you're not here to enforce the policy. He tries to communicate with these guys. But now you got these, now you got these California cut crew out here, in, out here on the West Coast, walking around and hitting private, non-government small businesses who it's are they're already struggling enough out here you motherfuckers number one get a goddamn job number two try to start a business as you wasteful pieces of shit try to realize how hard it is to own a business in the state of california you fucking garbage human beings and now you're in here fucking with their employees and their clientele coming in and coming in and out of their small businesses because what oh it's the first amendment i'm out on an easement I can stand out here and annoy the fuck out of these people and make them paranoid because if there's not one thing we haven't learned is American civilians are dumb and we can provoke them and maybe I can pepper spray them. Yeah, he's changed his name again. <laughs> he wants to try. I do. But it's all good, brother. No worries. Hey, man, you're doing good. One shops at auto shops. Yeah, auto, yeah. Auditing welding shops and auto, yeah. Listen, man. Well, hang on now. Now, some of those, some of those guys do have contracts with law enforcement to pick up impounded vehicles. So in some instances, the, the towing companies... But I'm just saying as well, yeah, listen, if they're, if they're not specific government, government, where they've got gates and cameras and, hey, man, this is a government facility. Hey, they're lucky that they lived through that, that fucking bullshit in Angelo's down there in National City when Homeboy opened up that fucking gate and heaved hove that fucking brick that literally went by fucking uh, 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 prison potatoes face, literally missed him by inches. He went by his right side, dude. I'll never forget watching that video and watching that brick whiz by his face. Can you imagine if I had smacked him and knocked that snaggle tooth right the fuck out of his face? Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh that brick, it just whopped him right in the fucking front of it and knocked that fucking snaggle tooth right the fuck out of his face. Oh, boy, I'd have been a happy camper. The only problem with that is, is that poor bastard over there at Angelo's, he'd have caught a case so quick. And see, that's what they're looking for. That's that's the scumbaggery of these motherfuckers, and that's that's what they're out for, out there to go do. So, deplorable bullshit. And we heard that if you guys haven't checked out this shit that I've got uh, uh, on on the channel and stuff like that about um, um, the rabbi down there at. Um, Yes, CCW to tell you somebody's need auditing for that very reason. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, apps. Oh no, listen. There's a couple of them that that I am very disgruntled with that they're represented by AAA who have done me dirty, and I would have no problem going down there and pissing all over their fucking wheaties. Matter of fact, that's probably what I should do, just to fucking piss them off. Because, dude, I see them driving around here, San Diego, and I roll down the window, and I've recorded myself, fuck you, you scumbag. Blah, blah, blah. They, have, they have done me wrong, as a matter of fact. Matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, we're talking about that. Hang on here. There we go. Let me see here. I want to see if... We went over to uh, Dark Beach. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, there you are. Good boy. There he is. He look at this. Speaking of... We didn't get but a couple blocks from the beach, and uh, focus. And for some strange reason, the starter just stayed engaged. And so we are now waiting on um, we're waiting on AAA to show up. Ob Noodle House, Tiki Board Port, excuse me, and Groot. 
So this is funny. We're talking about that. So we're waiting and I just happened to click this. So this is advantage towing. This is advantage towing. These are the sun bitches I'm talking about. Dude, I would have no problem going over to Point Loma. They drove by there and saw the van. Dude, the van was completely empty. There was nothing in there. There was the bed and, you know, it was empty. That's a 250. You could have, I could have had that thing shit time loaded with it. They just drove by. So, yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, none of them want to show up. No, somebody showed up here a little while ago talking about uh, um, um, Bandit being a dead cat. And crew squashed that real quick. So, it, I, I, I guess, so the timeline here we're waiting on is that, um, dummy has to go to court here on June. Uh, well, I'll make sure to make it official. I think it's 15th or the fifth or something like that, but I'll let everybody know exactly what time and where Lord knows if nobody knows about that. I'm good about posting that stuff. I'll be doing that you know 72 hours 48 hours oh speaking of where are we now what date is it right till the 20th and i might even have to work that day so so even though that was a possibly a troll that someone was was baiting uh um san gabriel valley news aka sgv so those of you who are in the other side of the the world over there the non-civilian side that's what that meant um um yeah, I did a little bit on on Iran. So um, SGV meant San Gabriel Valley News. That's scumbag piece of crap. So that that's what I meant on that. So he he's supposed to be down here on the twentieth, but I need to check my schedule. I'm actually having it, but I still need to hear from him, no matter what, because he knows he wanted to run his little mouth. Oh, and Ginsley Report was the one who who let us all know about that. That the very second he got released after ratting about someone. The Los Angeles Sheriff's Department will cut him loose. So um, there's that. So there's that, ladies and gentlemen. So he's running around the street, Mr. Shahala Mahala. So so, and he he too is part of um, um, the Chomo uh, child doxing crew, uh, the kitten killing crew, the California cuck crew. And uh, um, I need to come up with something. Well, the California cut crew are the clowns who went around uh, doing the Shahala Mahala and disrespecting the, the Muslim and exo uh, Islamic faith. So, again, there's there's multiple um, sets of people out here that are very disturbed by these individuals behavior. And and if there's not one thing that we've seen that. For some reason, well, now we've seen at least one of them finally got caught up with the justice and now he's incarcerated. But now someone else is ratted and he's out running around the streets. So um, if that's the case, then street justice shall prevail. Boom. Just street justice shall, be, shall be, uh, prevail. Boom. Just like that. Let, let it be happening. He threatened a district attorney, a retired police officer, and works for the district attorney's office. Oh, SGV? Yeah. Oh, did I miss something? Thunder Pumper. Why is Furry in jail? Um, during the middle of the trial, as I understand it, from the people that were there, because they've emailed me exclusive, you know, their version of what happened, and it's all basically. So about halfway through, um, I think the attorneys were like, oh, said, listen, dude, you're cooked here. You better do something about this. So he pled guilty. Um for um, attacking that uh, um, that detective and then dropping the end bomb on him. <laughs> Fucking stupid. So now, again, it makes me believe that wherever it was up in Santa Maria, wherever he was up on the coast um, with the Marine recruiting station, that he probably did drop the end bomb, knowing that he's half black, so he's, he's Oreo, mulatto, however you want to refer to him. Um, um, so he probably thinks that he's entitled enough, even though he's, he represents, even though he's got olive skin, he's still a pretty tall looking white man, no matter how you cut the cookie. Um, so I guess he still thinks he's entitled enough to drop the end bomb. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I did post something about um, 
Mrs. Potato, and she couldn't even write the word downtown. It looked like it was just in, in, in kindergarten s- Sanskrit. <laughs> I guess she's a hell of an animator, but she ain't too smart. But like I said, dude, on the same token, let me tell you something. So so when F off's stepdad came to the back porch, because I'll keep retelling this story so everybody understands the mental psychology of this psychotic f- individual. So so when his stepdad came out to the back porch. Oh, yeah, somebody's moving around here, knocking places down. Um, he came to the back porch where Cat was, uh, myself, uh, 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 Prison Potato, and F Off Productions. And he came outside and said, like, get the fuck out, motherfucker. I don't want you here. I don't want you on the property. Just blah, 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 blah. And I believe he had to take a uh, an Uber down from Hollywood or something like that. I just know he was down there. He had no ride. And and Randy had pretty much said, no, you can have the guest bedroom. It's all good, blah, 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 blah. And he's promising shit in, in his mom's and stepdad's house. Is his, his ass can't cash that check. Well, fucking stepdad came outside. We're all out in the back area watching TV and just, you know, having a good time and whatever. And just, boom, bounced his ass. Just, boom, just like that. So so I was like, hey, man, it's all good. I don't give a fuck, man. Look, and just go over there and go crash over there at the fucking pad next door. Man, he did not want to leave. That fucking, listen, that $5,000 mattress that I had, along with that expensive bedroom said, you all say what the fuck you want. It was a granny flat. And even though I had to walk to the bathroom, listen, every chick that I've ever bedded, they've ever come into that bedroom and they've seen that massive headboard and that, everybody saw that. It's fine furniture. This is the best sleep I ever got, man. I don't ever want to go. Man, oh my. So so anyway, finally that morning came. Out the door he went. Him and Cat and whatever. Da, 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 da. I turned on the TV and I shit you not, ladies and gentlemen. I shit you fucking not. The cartoons that were on there were like fucking kindergarten cartoons. And that's what he, and I had multiple TVs in that fucking thing. There were two TVs in the armoire and I had another TV hanging on the side of the wall just for the security cameras. And, you know, you could either put the cameras on them or blah, 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 or watch multiple sports. You know, it could switch to all kinds of shit. Every fucking TV had fucking kitty from PBS to fucking, I was like, what the, what the fuck? I mean, dude, kin, not even kindergarten shit, pre kind it was, I was like tripping big time. There was a local student about a couple of years ago, went to a church, got trashed, ABC reporter asked the cop, could they suspect furry potato person? Oh, That they kicked in the back door right after that, like weeks, six weeks, two months after that. Correct. No, I don't think that he was dumb enough to do that, but I guarantee to you, with the I know shit pr- to prove in court, I guarantee to you unequivocally, be one thousand percent, it was a dumbass tater tot. One of them fucking, one of them fucking dumbasses that follow her, him, it. So. 1,000%. It was one of them douchebags. Fuck it, synagogue. They shot for it. I'm going to go in there and kick a utility door in and mess some papers up and that'll show them. Put some chairs around and mess up the copy machine and screw up some administrative stuff. Oh, get out. <laughs> they did catch that fool. See, now at the time of the video that I saw, they just talked about that incident happening. So they caught the clown, huh? <laughs> so did so did this clown have any affiliation to Antifa or, or dumbass? Okay. So here we are a fucking hour later, oh. and now AAA says it's going to be 20 more fucking minutes before the tow truck driver decides to get his punk ass over here. I'm not mad. So, fuck you, AAA. I'm not mad. So there's the antenna. That's on a tilt now. It goes up way up in the air. You got to crank it up. No shit. <laughs> What's the matter? <bad? laughs> I know. I, I have a slip of the tongue. What can I do, man? Listen, I'm old and feeble. 
I should still be in my walker. Let me put my teeth in so y'all can hear. What'd you say, Shani? Let me turn my hearing aid up. Sick. What'd you say, boy? I can't hear you. Yeah, well, that was the video that I, I posted here um, recently of the of the rabbi talking about that. So, I mean, personally at the time, I still say that, that it was, I mean, it for sure it was a ricochet. So I thought some of the bullet, if not most of the bullet, sort of lodged and, and sort of got him in the thigh. All I know is the guy did discharge the weapon and something off the off the sidewalk did hit Mr. Perez. So there's no denying that. It's a shame it fucking like the brick. This guy, fuck. Lucky bastard. All the mayhem, all the disruptness, all the fucking hatefulness, all the bad karma, everything that he's gone out to go do to disrupt people's lives. And none of the DAs, Los Angeles, Orange County, San, Di uh, San Bernardino, uh, Riverside, San Diego. Want to know why? I called them all. Well, I called their offices. Well, you know, I'm the first in the camp. All they do, him and Haw, him and Haw. I'm like, this is predatory, premeditative behavior where they're going out there and provoking these people and then attacking them with chemical spray, with chemical agents. That is not legal. Well, you know, people... Uh, uh. Yeah, a bunch of punks. Yeah, Bush, uh-huh. He got hit with concrete. Yeah, exactly. Ultimately, it's probably... Yeah, exactly. It was just a piece of the concrete, and that was that. And then what are you going to do about it? So, hey, man, is what it is. Well, on the same token, listen, man, um, again, along with the emails, thank you very much, everyone. Um, the email or the, the content will be forthcoming. But in the emails, someone has uh, communicated to me that Mr. Perez has not won one single lawsuit in Riverside, Orange County, Los Angeles County, San Diego County, including me, he all the all them lawsuits that he filed against me, he won goose egg, zip, nada. Any more, any more ways I can say zero? He won nothing. Yeah, the same 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 with Coach right there, with Aster. That's right, dude. Oh. So all the money that all you people gave him and donated to him to all those and, and for the uh, process server to pay for all that bullshit, all that money you spent could have gone for something much better. And all you all wasted it on that fucking fool. Good job. Good job, kids. Good job. Good job, Tater Army. You guys are really just good, good people. Fucking clowns. Orderly way, beachy fucking. Some people's fucking stupidity, I tell you what. I tell you fucking what. But that's all right, though. Once, once, once Chomoism hits, um, hits that jail, they're punky. One, once, once that word reaches in to jail. Of that of the chomoism of you doxing kids on social media. So and don't forget info at Los Angeles Care, and that's C A I R Centers for American Islamic Rights dot org or dot com. Again, it's in my it's in my community page. Feel free to look that up. I want to make sure you get that right. Again, I'm old and feeble. I don't remember shit. So please go over there to remember that. And voice, email your concerns and let them know. And unfortunately, that uh, 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 Jose Armando Gonzalez, a.k.a. SGV, San Gabriel Valley News First, has now been released from the custody of Los Angeles Sheriff's Department uh, from Men's Central Jail uh, under sealed uh, documentation because he's obviously talked in order to get the doors kicked open for him. So I'm sure that the originator of Shahala Mahala, that they'd like to know that now he's out running around on the streets. 
I won't give you any more repair tips. No, buddy. That's <laughs> um, sir, but I've already, uh, if you want, what I'll do is, um, I'll post the video of, of the completed uh, thing, but that's funny that you said that about the wires, brother, because that is exactly what I did. I had to, uh, uh, run some wires long enough, had to bridge that whole, uh, trace circuit right there. Cause it had that resistor jumping across over it. Call me a tot and I'll dot your eye. Um, I don't know, Arma. Were you were you were you on that side over there? Listen, there were so many people over there. I don't remember anymore. So, and listen, brother, if you have nothing to do with them at this point, then there you go. If you ain't got, uh, if you ain't got nothing, what's it? What can he watch Nickelodeon there? <laughs> Actually, now that now that what's his face is from, where was he from? Was he from um, what was where was the cat? He was from the from Mister Belding. No, he wasn't from Mister Belding. He was from the guy from um, 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 from WKRP in Cincinnati, uh, um, and then he became a teacher, right? And then it was the it was the the fat kid Dennis, who was uh, um, what was the name of that thing? No, not Tom Hanks. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, don't, yeah. But if you if you were part of Doxon Doxon, uh, um, Aster's daughter, then no, it wasn't Rob, Robin Williams. It was Johnny Fever. When Johnny Fever from WKRP, he was the um, he was the um, 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 the advanced ed teacher. Right later on, and then it was the it was uh, the the fat kid. I think his name was Dennis Howard Hessman. Really? Yeah, there you go. You man, Jimmy. Thanks. All right. So what was the fat kid's name? Um, I'm dark haired. I say fat. That's not cool. But wait, what do you want me to say? He was a big, he was the big kid. So he went on to become the producer or one of many producers there at Nickelodeon. And he's the one that's being charged and being accused of all the fucking the shit that went on at Nickelodeon. So someone else has got, again, I can't, all my shit's fire. Well, I guess I could look on that thing. So let me close this. Oh, I want to reduce this window. Uh, how's it going to do that? Come on. There it goes right there. Did somebody figure out that dude's name yet? Head of the class. Yeah, 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 no, not Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, no, Jimmy Kimmel. Listen, he's another scumbag that's been exposed. So, yeah. Dan Schneider. There. Oh, it's just Tom Space did it right there. I'm over here typing one thing, and then I looked over and saw you. Yeah, Dan Schneider. Kimmel's been to the island. Yeah, hell yeah. Coach, you the man, brother. Tony's Talk Podcast. Check out Aster's deal also. Voice of the Audio, Radio 760. Tony's Talk Podcast, 42.0. Go check that out. Online radio, boys and girls. Seriously, go check that shit out, man. They got some bumping beats going over there. So I appreciate uh, appreciate him showing up here tonight. Well, this is, again, I say it was going to be a quick 15, maybe a 30-minute broadcast. And just that quick, we went into an hour, just like that. So, um, oh, gotcha. No doubt this is having a drastic effect because look at this, 22 in, 22 thumbs up, and more people are um, um, realizing now that my patience has paid off now that these scumbags are all being turned in and going, you know, been recognized for the Antifa. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, um, I've still got breaking Antifa news coming real soon. I've already got documentation of some of it right here that was mailed to me earlier this week, last, yeah, earlier this week. So I'm going to be telling y'all some some wild ass Antifa news. I'm on the network, Tony's Talk Network. There you go. There's there he is right there. So yeah, everybody make sure to go check that out. Lord knows there's enough people that, even though they say there's only 23 in here, we all know when I go back and check this out. This thing, hey, 
<laughs> we all know that there's people listening. So, um, yeah, we still got six more minutes. Um, on the on the national stuff, people, we got to stop killing each other. We had two more shootings here in San Diego just over the weekend. Um, Chicago, there was a bunch of wilding. I think, where was it down in Texas? Dallas, maybe? Somebody can type it in there. What happened in, uh, I know you like that thumbnail. That's some shit in it. I know Chicago, like some 40 people got shot. Maybe six or 10 something got killed. A couple of more kids. Some more shit happened down in, in Texas somewhere. Come on, people. Oh, and there's an officer involved shooting tonight here. My alert went off in on Gonkadamlin or whatever. I'm not sure. I'm probably Pennsylvania or something. Be more kind to everybody. The world's a very fucking hateful place right now. I keep, you know, you all keep, you all keep on hearing me tell everybody, act accordingly. Desert Sentinel. There's an old. There's an old name right there. There's an old name, Desert Sentinel, son of a gun. What's up, cuz? Look at you in here. So, um, that being said, now with the world stage setting like it is, leave your guns at home. Yeah, exactly. Johnny Cash, leave your guns at home. So if you got if you're gonna come out here and go mano a mano, just like I told Jose Armando Gonzalez, brother, show up there um, at the park, 4:20, 1 p.m. I may have to amend that. I'll, I'll I'll do that this week. I'll look at my schedule because I've got I'm contracted now. So, um, yeah, I told him, I said, dude, if you if you even show up with a pencil on you, I'll end you. I said, show up with just fisticuffs, bitch. That's it. So, but he, we know it's, it's not going to happen. So, and dude, I'm busy now. Listen, brother, I'm, I'm, and, and, and voice of the audio will confirm this, that dude, I'm, you guys, I got a professional job during the weekdays that I have to take care of. And then on the weekends I, I do professional, dude, I'm a cameraman. I do, you know, and, and some on top of that, dude, I got shit that I'm doing now with the Padres apparently, but I'm not. I'm an unemployed loser. I ain't got nothing going on. I'm a clown. Hey, Penny Machado. So, oh, speaking of, do you know what happened with the Dodgers? I know it was tied there at the at the end. Uh, Padres, Dodgers, final. No, I want it tonight, not last night. I got to fix this new computer so it knows what the fuck I'm looking for. Because the game was tied 3-3 three to three last time I checked. So, anyway. Told you to fucking... Jose, dude, was dead weight. <laughs> Might pull the taser. I was just looking for the picture of him when you said they showed up. Yeah, him, him, pedophile Libre, and I've got his, I got his pedigree, his entire name. Yeah, but see, but see, here's the thing. All this trash that I've received from the entire community, from everyone, from the East Coast to Texas to Colorado to everybody in California, including my local crew here, where everybody decided they, now, now, a oh, Buckeye, hey, what's up, cuz? They lost six. To the Padres, out figures. Brother, hey, by the way, dude, I'm not dissing you at all, brother. Um, I will recontact you according to you know what, and I'm not going to give that away either, so no one knows, okay? I'll take care of that. I will. It's just I got to do the right thing by you and make sure that you got the right information on that, right? Buckeye, and then just, so that's fine. But I did receive it, brother, and I've got you. I starred that, as a matter of fact, so I won't. Uh, I, I won't forget. So, I probably just might take care of that myself for you, probably. We work. We cash checks. Enjoy life, OG. You too, big dog. Voice of the Audio. Tony's Talk Podcast. Two big dogs. And you know what I should do? I should I should go back in there. Just watch this. That make him trip out big time. Let me scroll back through here. See if I can find Tony. That way, next time he comes in here and says hello... I can do him a solid. Where is that? 
What are we doing? Oh, 59 seconds. Jeez, I'm going to run. I didn't realize I was running that late. Okay, well, I'll catch up with him again later on. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for showing up here. It's a privilege and a pleasure, each and every one of y'all, to come in here and show up and, and support me, especially through the last couple of years and all the crap that's happened. Um, uh, Voice, thank you very much. Buckeye, Jeff Waits. Uh, desert, desert. What are you doing in here, brother? I can't believe you bought slick showed up, brother. I cannot. Uh, uh, and then, and then Tom space, Jensley, Jimmy, what are you doing? Big dog. Let me keep on scrolling through here. I like, uh, uh, giving everybody a shout out when they show up through here. Uh, of course, Santa Monica. Good deal. Hey, everybody. Make sure when you're out there, when you're doing this act accordingly. Okay. Hey, thunder pumper. What up big dog? Allison's the daughter. You can oh yeah, CJ, Cloven Beast. There's Tony's Talk Podcast right there. Boom, there we go. Just see, see what he does for that. Oh, of course, Groot for president. Of course, how would I forget you? Southside JT. Hey, what's up, big all right, man. So there we go, everybody. Yeah, a yeah, minute late. That's all right. We can deal with that. Be safe, cuz. Hey, brother, thank you very much. Again, everybody, thank you very much. We'll um um we'll be doing this probably Tuesday morning. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day. Peace out, everybody. Thank you very much.